Hi, my name is Ben Pig from Wolby Design and I've been working at a dish shipping container for the last year and a half. And today, I wanna show you what I like about this space, what I don't like about this space, and how I'm going to change this workshop with this year's remodel. Okay, so first off, I'm renting this unit. I wish I was in the position to own a house with a detached garage as my workshop, but that's just not the case. So I searched for a workshop in LA with the budget that I have, and I came across this shipping container. Each of these shipping containers are roughly $500 a month, and for LA, that's pretty damn affordable. I have unlimited access, all electricity is included, Wi-Fi, parking, and it's only about 10 minute drive from my apartment. And the beauty of renting is I'm not responsible for anything other than my shop. Now originally I came to check out a unit inside the warehouse but it was much smaller and there were a lot more neighbors and I just liked the idea of turning a shipping container into a workshop and I could be as loud as I want. Now just to let you know, this would not be my first choice if I had the money. I would much rather be in a detached garage and have an air conditioning on. But that's just not the case. So I'm trying to level up to get there and this is one of the steps that I have to take. So stop asking me to get a 40 foot shipping container. Jeez! Now, the other question that I get the most is, does it get pretty hot in here during the summer? And the answer is yes, it gets pretty hot in here in California. But compared to the other units, it's at least 10 to 15 degrees cooler. And there's another unit on top of me that takes in all that heat. So I'm pretty much covered. If there's one thing that I would change about this shop is taking out the drywall and putting a sheets of plywood so that I could drill holes anywhere I want to. Let's talk about the layout of this workshop. Starting at the front of the shop, I have all the big tools kind of laid out here in the front of the shop. And the newest addition to this workshop would be this bandsaw from Grizzly. I have the bandsaw on a mobile base so it's easy for me to move it. And I like having the bandsaw on this side rather than where I had it before. I switched from my old bandsaw to this one for a few reasons. There's an auto brake feature that's operated by this button as well as a foot pedal. There's also micro adjustment for blade drift on the fence. And I really like having these bearings way better than cool blocks. One of the main reasons why I own a bandsaw is for resign, and this model specifically is the perfect machine for that. Just a quick disclaimer, Grizzly did send me this tool for me to review, and I convinced them to give you guys 10% off on this machine as well as G0513 AMV, which is the black one. Pretty much everything that I'm going to be talking about is going to be linked down in the description below. As for the jointer, I have this six inch jet jointer and I installed Shelix helical cutter head by mywoodcutters.com. And if you haven't seen that video, it's right up here. And it's really handy to have a jointer in the shop because I do a lot of glue ups of skateboards and it's really nice to get one surface flat. And having these Shelix helical cutter head installed, it's pretty much gonna last forever. And I could always rotate the cutter head to get a fresh edge and get a really nice clean cut. If there's one thing that I want to change about this jointer is I want to get one of those 10 inch jointer planer combo. I rarely use the planer, so it's really nice to have a 10 inch capacity. Other than that, it's really nice to have. And I highly recommend upgrading to a Shelix helical cutter head by mywoodcutters.com. It's the money. <laughs> now, the table saw. I probably spent most of my time in this shop in this area at the table saw. This table saw was a gift from Four Eyes Furniture. Thank you, Chris. And this table saw used to have a 49 inch rib capacity, but I had to cut the rails down to make it fit into this shop. And with this new remodel, I'm probably gonna cut the rails down even shorter so that I can have a standard 30 inch rib capacity table saw in this shop. And when I do end up working with plywood, I have it cut at the lumber yard before I bring it in. And the length doesn't really matter, but the width, I can always get it I probably don't need it bigger than 24 inches wide. So it'll be perfectly fine having a standard 30 inch rib capacity table saw. As for the router table, 
I never used it. So I'm probably gonna take it out and I'm gonna free up this bottom space here and I'm gonna put the press against that wall. But I'm probably gonna get rid of this one. I'm going to commission Eric from Cutworks to make me a proper press and it, that thing's gonna be solid. And as for my other press, I got rid of that a long time ago. Now, since I'm moving the press against the wall, I have to move this dust collection system and I'm gonna move it to the end corner of the shop so it's nice and hidden and it's gonna look so much better with videos as well as clear up all this space. As for the drum sander, I really like having the drum sander here in this spot. I could always use it as an outfeed table for the table saw when I'm cutting larger sheets of plywood and I could always use it for the miter saw station as well. So, I uh, switched brands. I've been working with Irwin and they sent me all these Craftsman tools to replace Ryobi tools. And the biggest benefit so far is having a shorter miter saw and this handle doesn't stick out as much as it used to. And I honestly think it doesn't matter which brands you use, as long as it works, it's a good tool. So, as for the miter saw station, I'm actually going to move the miter saw against this wall and I'm going to free up more space here and I'm going to have a proper power tool storage up here as well. And I'm actually going to move my CNC machine underneath the miter saw so I could have more space for storage underneath the workbench. Now, as for this skateboard shelf, I'm actually going to split it into half. So I'm going to have top and bottom, and the bottom is gonna be flush with this miter saw station. So it's gonna work as an outfit table for the miter saw. And for the top, I'm actually going to mount it against the wall on this side as well as that side, and it should be plenty strong enough to hold all these skateboards. Now, I know you can't see it, but there's a lathe back there and it's from Harbor Freight and it's just way too big for this shop. So I'm actually going to switch it out with smaller Rockler lathe and I'm going to make a dedicated stand on this side of the wall. And I saw this video by Izzy Swan right up here and he made this flip up lathe stand that works perfectly. So I'm going to be making that and there's gonna be plenty of storage underneath for all the accessories that go along with the lathe. Now, as for the workbench, since I'm gonna have a lay stand over there, I'm going to have to make the workbench about a foot shorter. And since I'm going to be moving the CNC machine under the miter saw station, I'm gonna have a bunch of free space for me to make drawers and have more room for storage. By the way, if there's one thing that you need on your workbench, is a vise. This thing is so handy. So, other than that, I think I'm just gonna make some few adjustments with the skateboard shelves, clamp wall storage, all this wall is gonna be a little bit cleaner. The main point is having more storage because look at this, I can't even work right now. Okay, so to conclude this one year shop tour video, so far, I really like this shop. I filled this shop with all these specialty tools that I acquired in the past few years and I have the freedom to do whatever I want, whenever I want. And I laid out these tools so that it's all plug and play and they're all positioned to get the full use out of these tools without wasting any extra space. I was able to work very comfortably and I was very happy with this shop. But after a year, I see some improvements that could be made and that's mainly storage. So I'm gonna take this opportunity to pretty much rebuild this whole shop including the skateboard storage, miter saw station, the workbench, lathe stand as well. And I'm gonna move things around and make this workshop as nice and clean as possible. At the end of the day, this is pretty much my studio and I wanna up my production game a little bit. So I wanna make this studio as nice and clean and aesthetically pleasing as possible. So stay tuned, it's gonna be really nice with this new remodel. Cool? 
Now, I know this is really heavy on the talking, so on my next video, I won't say a word. Just a little bit of whoops. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you have any questions regarding this 20 foot shipping container workshop, leave it in the comments. And if you want to follow me along with this remodel, check out my Instagram page at Wolby Design, and I'll have plenty of behind the scenes footage of this remodel. Until next time. Hi, my name is Ben Pig and I'm from Wobi Design. And this is gonna be my new workshop. It's a 20 foot shipping container and I'm gonna turn it into a functional and usable workspace.